talk about video games. Specifically to say, that we let them down, guys. They were supposed to be the future. Interactive storytelling was supposed to surpass movies as the new art form of a new generation, but we won't let it. We're holding them back because we can't admit that the level of violence in video games is smearing banana paste on your chest and calling yourself the king of France insane. Alright, okay, alright, okay. They're trying to say, uh, fucking video games are like movies. No, they're fucking not, dude. Seriously, fuck off with your gay ass, stupid haircut, your dumb fuck tattoo, and your asshole fucking douchebag elitist hipster prick glasses. Fuck your idea of, fuck these idiots. Fuck these fuck your fuckers who think that, oh, oh, games are the new movie medium. Oh, we gotta tell a good story. Like... I don't want to watch a fucking movie. I want to play a fucking game. Look, game bros and game ladies. I don't think violence in video Game bros and game ladies. Kill yourself. Drink bleach. And it's a bad thing. I just think it's weird that it's the only thing. Four of the five best-selling games of 2015 are just about killing people. I want... For... for... for the... Wait, wait. Supposed to surpass movies is the new art form of a new generation, but we won't let it. We're holding them back because we can't admit that the level of violence in video games is smearing banana paste on your chest and calling yourself the king of France insane. Look, game bros and game ladies, I don't think violence in video games is a bad thing. I just think it's weird that it's the only thing. Four of the five best-selling games of 2015 are just about killing. <laughs> fucking Star Wars Battlefront is on this fucking list. Fallout 4, which had okay storytelling, but it's fucking Fallout. Grand Theft Auto V, which had, uh, eh, I, I don't know. I didn't care for it, but, and Call of Duty Black Ops 3, I haven't played, but Star Wars Battlefront, people! Star Wars fucking Battlefront! One of the best selling video games of 2016. Remember, everybody fucking bought it. You know? Has this... Four, four of, four of the... Four of the five games are all about killing. Has he has he never he does know Star Wars is a fucking movie, right? He is a nerd, right? Star Wars is a fucking movie. Preferably and preferably the fucking original trilogy. So are you saying the original trilogy had no fucking story? Dude Fucking little twig. And when I say about, I mean the reason we play these games is so we can pretend to kill people. Uh, Star Wars, uh, once again, they're based off of a fucking movie series with a pretty good story, so you fucked up! With guns, specifically, because we don't want any innovation getting between us and scratching our murder itch. One Twitter user pointed out that at the two- Oh, fuck John McIntosh, fuck that dude. But my calculation, 90% of all games shown on stage Feature violent combat, leaving only 11 for sports, racing, and everything else. Well, guess what? Sports games are the same shit. Racing games are the same shit. What do you want? You want a fucking story mode in sports games and story mode in racing games? Like, seriously. 2016 E3 Gaming Expo, 89% of the games shown were about solving... And fuck him. He ain't... He, that dude is a fucking dickhead. Don't listen to that dude. ...with violent retribution. And people lost their s*** at him just for saying that. Why? Because he's a fucking retard! He's a fucking moron! Who gives a shit? Hold on. Let's backtrack. Let's backtrack. Who gives a fuck? They're video games. Quit treating it like it's some big fucking thing. Who gives a shit? He's literally doing math. That's gaming. If he's literally doing math. That's gaming! No, it's being a fucking nerd. Who gives a fuck? Who really gives a shit? Anybody watching isn't a games folk, and if so, rude. I want to point out that games can do a lot of stuff that isn't murder. There's The Sims. There's... FUCK SIMS! Sims is boring! Minecraft. That FUCK MINECRAFT! That game's old. That's all I can think of off the top of my head. Oh, wow, that dude's a fucking idiot. This dude's a fucking retard. He fucking makes a video. Oh, there's Sims! There's Minecraft! But those are the only two games I can think of. This dude isn't a fucking gamer. He's a fucking piece of shit host. Fuck we this choose to spend our We gamers can't fucking name anything else than a fucking life simulator and a fucking, uh, a fucking, fucking sandbox game. ...dollar almost exclusively on recreations of the most f***ed up you see in the news. Now look wow. 
he had a fuck. Wow, that's pathetic. He had a fucking bleep out his swear words. Kill yourself. I enjoy casual violence as much as I enjoy cigarettes or toilet hooch, but of course it's weird. When we pretend it doesn't look weird, that just makes us look more weird. Compare these games to the top five highest grossing movies of huh. May 15. It's still mostly violence, but at least it's different kinds of violence. You have laser sword fights, dinosaur- Okay, 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 okay. Here, compare these games to the top five- So, Star Wars the movie, is somehow less violent than Star Wars the game? Who gives a fuck? Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? And fuck minions, dude. I don't give a shit. Who cares? Who fucking gives a shit? It's fucking video games, it's fucking movies. You guys take shit way too fucking seriously. And then you freak out. Highest grossing movies of 2015. It's still mostly violence. It's still mostly violence, but it's a different kind of violence. We have laser swords. Unlike in the fucking Star Wars video game, there aren't any laser swords. But at least it's different kinds of violence. You have laser sword fights, dinosaur fights. Dinosaur fights. Car and gun fights. Car and gun fights! How is that? Okay, all right. How the f Wow! What the fuck, dude? What the fuck? How is that different? How the fuck is that different? How the fuck is that different from 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 any of the fucking games that was on that list that are just fucking bitching about? Car and gun fights? Man, Fast and Furious sure reminds me of fucking GTA, dude. Like, goddamn. What the fuck? Superhero fights. Superhero fights. Oh my gosh, I've never seen that in a fucking game before. Holy shit. I didn't see minions, but I see. And fuck minions. Some graphic torture or something. I get it though. This is a sensitive topic for a lot of people fuck. because we remember a time when people were trying to make video games not a thing anymore. In the 90s, there was serious discussion about whether or not games were causing all the problems in the world and needed to be banned forever. Well, hey, hey. You, you want to know what's funny? Uh, they were saying the same shit about fucking music. It's the same goddamn thing, dude. And for you to say, for you to say, oh, it's a different kind of violence. Fast, Fast and Furious Seven isn't anything like GTA Five. Oh wow. Oh, Star Wars: The Force Awakens. Oh, that has different violence than it does in the in the Star Wars Battlefront video game. Oh, I'm a fucking idiot robot. I'm a fucking robot. Like, fuck you. It seemed that way to us because we were kids and didn't realize that these kinds of controversies happen like once a decade and always end up being as ephemeral and meaningless as, say, here's Morgan. But today, we spend $25 billion dollars a year on video games. $25 billion. That's four times more than we spend on guns, and look at how powerful the gun industry is. We're an important part of the economy now, so at the risk of sounding cynical, even if scientists wearing lab coats and speaking in European accents conclusively prove that video games cause real-world violence, they probably still wouldn't take them away. Because gaming is expensive enough now to be a rich people hobby, and rich people hobbies can be literally anything. We're safe. Who cares? Let's just go full punk rock and admit that gaming is super f The anger thing probably isn't a coincidence. Already, I know that some of you are questioning whether I'm a true gamesman. So let me be clear here. Gamesman? No, you're fucking now. When you call yourself a fucking gamesman, you kill yourself, dude. You commit suicide. What the fuck? Gamesmen. Gamers don't fucking call themselves gamesmen. That's fucking gay. That's gay as fuck. Fuck you. Gamer cred is unfucking impeachable. When I learned the true meaning of loyalty. And gamers don't bleep their fucking cuss words out too. Fucking idiot. It wasn't because some friends and I discovered a dead body in the woods. It was from Minx in Baldur's Gate and his unwavering devotion to boo the miniature giant space hamster. So step on. And yet, despite this obvious pedigree, I still don't like to call myself a gamer because that word seems less associated with video games and more associated with being a dick on the internet. In fact, Google literally autocompletes the word gamer to Gamergate, which was an internet harassment campaign with ties to white supremacy groups. So just search. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, oh, I'm gonna go on fucking. Let's let's check fucking Google out, man. It's a, it's incredible. It's fucking amazing. Wow. Wow. I, I look up the word gamer 
and fucking Gamergate shows up because it has the fucking word gamer in it? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh! Like, dude, come on. What if I use this guy in DSPisms? I, I, if you want to, I wouldn't. I don't know. This guy's a fucking idiot. For my hobby on the internet, puts me three clicks away from being on yet another government watch list. <laughs> what? How? How? How the fuck does it? How, do, how are you going on a fucking? Dude, I'm, I'm, I'm sure I'm probably on a fucking government watch list. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. All right? You guys are all fucking. Oh, oh, can't have the government watching me fap to my fucking anime, my fucking weeaboo shit. Uh, uh, uh. Like, kill yourself. Sergeant is bioengineering a slave army in his basement. That's the first watch list. I can also tell you anecdotes that writing about video games attracts way more internet hate than writing about anything else. Compare the comments under a this movie is sexist article to the this video game is sexist article on a No one cares! No one gives a shit. No one fucking cares. They're trying, dude. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. What I think, what I think, people should start fucking saying to these fucking retards is nobody fucking gives a shit. No one cares. Why are you making this a big fucking issue? It ain't a fucking issue. It's bullshit. It's bullshit. It has nothing to fucking do with your everyday goddamn life. And if it does, kill yourself. Really, any website, and you'll see the difference. Also, everybody knows this. Even Reddit. At a certain point, that's not a yeah. coincidence. Yeah. And that certain point was six yeah. years ago when people started advertising to us using our inability to control our temper as their gimmick. Anyway, games. Mostly about killing. Gamers. Mostly mad all the time. Maybe a link. Not a crazy idea. So here's our opportunity. Oh, uh, uh, dude, you know, no. You want to know what's fucking pissing me off is people who make big deals out of stupid ass shit like this this is what fuck this is what's fucking stupid about people this is why i fucking hate people is because you're all fucking idiots who can't chill the fuck out like you all like dude seriously they need to fucking legalize marijuana so you all can fucking smoke that shit you guys need to chill the fuck out to be better than most professional sports and tackle an obvious problem head on before anybody gets hurt. We don't actually care about story. I read hundreds, probably, of articles about why video game stories are so bad. Why, the articles ask. Why are they so bad? I'll tell you. It's because we gamers, no me, don't Hey, fuck you! I'm not in your fucking category, dude. Guess what? I'm not a bullshit, I'm not a bullshit piece of shit, dude. I'm not, I'm not. You, we're gamers. You and me. You me trendy. I'm trendy. Oh, like it's not why we play, and it never has been, and it never will be. The stories don't matter to us. No, games have good stories. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, wait, okay. So he's talking about fucking stories and video games. I don't give a fuck about a story if if the gameplay sucks. All right, like. Uh, oh, you, never, you know, never mind, never mind. I don't care about a story if I don't give a shit. You know what? That's what I'm going to say. Because I like GTA 5. I don't really care about the story. Alright? I like playing GTA 5, but I don't like the story. Alright? I like playing Uncharted 4, but you know, I'm not too crazy about the story. It's good, but, you know, not as good as the other ones. So... Last of Us, I haven't played Last of Us, so... It's a pretty good movie. No, it's a fucking game. It's not a movie. Stop acting like it's a movie. It's a game. Stop calling it that. That's not what it is. It's a video game. Why don't... Okay, alright, I give up. I give up. Hey, let's just let's just go with the bullshit they want. Let's just have Sony and Microsoft and all the fucking game devs. All the fucking game devs. Let's just let's just let's just stop playing video games. Let's just search up let's just search up uh let's just search up cutscene cutscene uh montages. Alright? 
Let's just stop playing video games all together and just watch them as movies. See, we won't even have to, like, use the fucking controller. We can just, like, press play, and there. The game's playing itself. It's a fucking movie now. I, I'll be down with that. Anything to just shut these fucking people up. And for them to just fucking die. Alright? Because hopefully, hopefully when, when we start making fucking uh, video game video game movies and and video games into movies uh we can just finally just call it and nuke ourselves because that is what you know you know that's what we need we need fucking video game movies you can make the argument that's the best way to enjoy the last of us story want proof i'm making that argument right now you just got told welcome to the internet i am your god and no you're not god i want to fucking rewind that and just matter to us. Now, games have good stories. Last of Us has a cool story, and if you watch all the cutscenes on YouTube, it's a pretty good movie. In fact, you could make the argument that's the best way to enjoy Last of Us' story. Want proof? I'm making that argument right now. God, dude. I... Okay. I thought... For a second there, I thought Darkseid Phil chewing his fucking food and smirking at the goddamn camera was the most... The, f the fucking thing that would break my fucking computer by me punching through it. This, this fucking dude has beat Darkside Phil in Jackie Chin's fucking karate lesson punching bag of my fucking desktop. I will... Alright, I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it just like Darkside Phil. If I could punch you through the internet, I fucking would. Alright? Seriously, how fucking stupid are you? Oh, 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 oh! You don't th don't think you can argue against that? I just did. I'm your god. Ha 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 ha! Like, no, video games aren't movies. And if you're fucking watching these, okay, one, one, one. If you're fucking on YouTube watching fucking video game cutscenes of a game you enjoy, you're fucking sad. You're fucking sad. Alright? Me? I watch fucking video game... I watch fucking cutscenes for video games. I ain't gonna play. Like I just watched the fucking Borderlands um, Telltale cutscenes. Alright? It's a game I'm never gonna want to play. But I'm interested because I was playing fucking Borderlands 2. Alright? So... For you to fucking say that shit, dude... <laughs> Go die in a fucking fire. You just got told, welcome to the internet, I am your god. Anyway, I gotta spoil this game for you. You spend most of the last of us as a big tough man named Joel protecting Ellie, a young girl. At the end, you find Did out... Did he even the play this game? ...the zombie problem is to kill Ellie. But Joel can't let that happen, and he kills a bunch of scientists, escapes with Ellie, and lies to her about what happened. For the ending to work emotionally, like as a story, you have to believe that Joel sees Ellie as vulnerable and feels a responsibility to protect her. And yet... She's invincible during the entire game. She can't get hurt or even seen by enemies because if they could see her, the whole game would have been a huge pain in the ass. So, a game can't compromise the fun for the sake of the story, even when the game's main appeal is the story. Why? Because we just want to beat people to death with a baseball bat. Again, no judgment. Dude, okay, her. That is seriously you, alright? That is seriously fucking you. Don't tell me you're fucking God, dude. I'd beat the shit out of you. Because that's awesome, but that's still why we're playing. And the thing is, if you don't like a game's story that gets in the way of the gameplay, that means you don't actually care if games are art or not. Remember when Roger Ebert said, Who gives a fuck? Video games can never be art. We got all mad at that stupid old man because he doesn't even play video games. And then remember, and we got all stupid. We got all mad at that. Blah, 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 blah. Who gives a fuck? Who gives a shit? 
to spend the next decade doing nothing to prove them wrong? Yes, video games can be art, and there are a ton of incredibly talented artists working in the industry, but... We don't care. We don't care. I'm making this fucking video, making a big old bullshit excuse for this. Like, dude, stop, please. Sound like a teenager claiming that watermelon vodka is actually good liquor. Well, maybe that's when they have a rich new vodka to mythology, but that's not what keeps people signing in every week. They're just doing that to get their fat loot so they can fight the tougher monster, and that, my friends, is different. That's the designer putting us in a Skinner box and getting us addicted to simulated accomplishments. I'm not sure what emotional truth you can get out of spending all day leveling up. But I hey! Hey! Can you cut this into a separate video and show it to Freedom Chat? Dude, I... Uh, um... <laughs> yeah, sure. Someday. <laughs> I'll, I'll post all the, like, fucking craziest shit I've done on stream or whatever. I've been thinking about doing that shit or whatever. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, okay. All right. So he's talking. He's bitching about fucking Destiny or whatever. Uh, well... <laughs> Um, what was I gonna say? Uh, so he's fucking bitching about Destiny, about it being like a fucking, you know, like, like Borderlands or whatever, without story or whatever. And it's like, oh, everybody just wants to keep doing this fake accomplishment shit. Oh, yeah, you know, it's not, it's not like you, you have friends when you fucking play these video games, you know? Like you, you fucking glasses wearing piece of shit. Fuck your shirt. Like... Seriously. It ain't a good game, but come on. Seriously. You find no enjoyment because it has no story in it. You don't have any fucking friends to play with. You're like Dark Side Phil, but Dark Side Phil's punk fucking playing zombies by himself, dude. Like, seriously. Go die in a fucking fire. No, but almost every video game review I've ever read has talked about whether the game hooks you and its replay value. Look, if we really cared about art, we wouldn't have reacted to Mass Effect 3's ending by demanding that they patch it in a way that lets us fulfill our power fancy. And we wouldn't have created a petition to get a review of Uncharted 4 removed because we disagreed with it. Because a big part of art is personal interpretation, not consensus. Demanding consensus is actually one of the most anti-art things you can do. So, being Anti-art. I'm art. Art. Art, why don't you go look in a fucking museum if you want to go see art, dude? I'm here to fucking play video games and to fucking destroy Dark Side Phil's YouTube channel, okay? I'm not here for your worthless bullshit about art, fucking psychological shit. I don't give a fuck. It's fucking video games. Who cares? Takes for something to count as art, then Jerry Springer counts as art. And professional wrestling, and making list based comedy videos for the internet. And this is comedy? This is fucking funny? Just as an aside, Metal Gear Solid creator Hideo Kojima also thinks the games are art, and he's the guy who allowed me to create the most beautiful moment I have ever seen on a TV screen. <laughs> video games are not relaxing. When you talk to people about video games and bring up the stuff I've brought up, the violence, the lack of attention to story, the argument often becomes that they're a stress reliever. They're relaxing. You feel pent up rage and you play video games and you feel relaxed. The truth is, that's not how anger, stress relief, or relaxation work. When you indulge in a violent video game fantasy, you're stimulating your brain, but not your body, in such a way that it not only exacerbates the frustration and anger, but associates frustration and anger with aggression in a way that is unhealthy in the long term because aggression is unhealthy. Look, I know the research is... Hey, dude. G guess what? Guess what? We're all not fucking dickhead hippies like you, you fucking weirdo. Alright? Guess what? We play video games to escape from all this everyday bullshit, alright? We we may not like be like you, where you got a fucking uh, a cozy fucking job over here at fucking crackheads, okay? Alright? We're not a fucking crackhead like you, where we get like tons of- we, we get money, we get paid to make fucking YouTube videos. We gotta go fucking work. So shut the fuck up. And yes, I know who Craig Anderson and Christopher Ferguson are. If you don't Google it, it's boring. But if you put that aside, it's boring. You know. 
So let's just be honest. Games can be exciting and exhilarating and infuriating, but they're not relaxing. None of us have ever drifted off to sleep playing Mario. We may have passed out face down on our keyboard playing EverQuest, but it's kind of different. Games are designed to be addictive. We sound like f***ing junkies when we say we find them relaxing that they relieve our stress. And we just need a hit of Call of Duty to take the edge off. You are a honest, fucking junkie. There's nothing wrong with saying you play them for fun. There's nothing wrong with saying that we like... Look, he's taking his fucking cigarette. He... He's taking his fucking cigarettes out in the fucking video. I'm sure this is going to lead up to some fucking gay ass joke that isn't going to be funny and I'm not going to fucking laugh at it. And yeah. Yeah. You need his head in half because we're broken inside. I mean, it's better than admitting we're addicted to something. Yeah, that wasn't fucking funny. Uh, kill yourself. Kill yourself.